I put up a lesson, but I had a subscriber ask me about uh, doing a tutorial on rhythm. You know, what rhythm do you use on on songs? How do you determine what rhythm you use? It's kind of a personal thing. Uh, if you're a guitar player, you know, when you're, when you're strumming to a, a song, you put a rhythm to it and it just comes natural to you. It's pretty much the same with the harmonica. Now, you know, on a waltz, you know what rhythm you're going to use because, uh, and I'm not, I'm not musically educated. I, I know a waltz is three, two rhythm, but if you ask me to play something in two, two, four, four, I don't know. I, <laughs> I do everything by ear, but the only reason I was three, two, someone told me, but, uh, so you know that waltzes, Get that, that waltz rhythm, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of songs. You remember the galloping rhythm? And you can and you can mix those up. You know, however you're feeling, it's what you're feeling, and you know you don't want it to be academic. Say I got to do this, 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 this. You want it to come natural, right from inside of you, just like it was if you're singing or humming. We're taking an old song called The Wreck of 97. The Wreck of the Old 97. And you see that rhythm? It's just a steady. Da, da. But then you can, you can add that, a little bit of that gallop with it too. See how that goes now. The subscriber that asked me about this one to talk about it, Soldier's Joy. Now, of course, I play Soldier's Joy like my granddad did, not like bluegrass fiddle players play it. So I played a little bit of it. Rhythm. You, can you tell the rhythm I'm using there? Now, if you play it, if you play that, what rhythm would you use? Would you try to copy me? You don't want to sound like me. You want to sound like you. So you want to use the what you want, what you feel like goes good. Now, I know there's a there's a young man in uh, Great Britain that's learning this style, and a lot of he, he he uses a gallop rhythm about on everything that that has a little little uh, speed to it but he's just learning now, later on I know he's gonna he's gonna uh, incorporate some more things like that sorry to talk about your Paul <laughs> your Paul's doing good he's a very 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 uh, skilled blues player but he's now just learning the old time stuff so let's talk about soldiers joy <laughs> See if without the rhythm it doesn't sound very good, does it? I'll do it slow. Remember those tongue slaps we talked about in another lesson? That's what we're doing here. To start off. He's strumming a car. See on that last note, I, I held that 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 tongue off a little bit.
Now, any song you play, you do it yourself. What feels natural to you? And don't worry when you start if it sounds like, ah, that sounds like crap. Well, probably did me when I started. But you just keep playing it over, and you finally get find your groove, your rhythm that you like to use on different songs. And each song's going to be different. You're going to use a little bit different. You aren't going to use the same rhythm uh, playing uh, the wreck of the old 97 as you do the rhythm playing Soldier's Joy. Now, on a, a song that I wrote many, many years ago called Hound Dog Run, it uses a gallop rhythm without just all, all the way through it. I'll play a little bit of it. Songs you can use, you can use a gallop rhythm all the way through. There's that waltz rhythm. You can you can uh, adapt that waltz rhythm for other songs. Just you not not a waltz, but uh, good. I hate using Wreck the Old Ninety Seven, but it's such a good song to use for these examples. That's pretty much a. Just a little bit faster. If you wanted to, you could use that gallop rhythm, making it sound like a train. Vary them up. You you use you use a a, a a gallop rhythm and change it in the song to another rhythm. And uh, but the main thing I want to the main thing I want to stress to you is to find your own. Find your own. You know the different styles of rhythms. We went over them in these other lessons that we've had and. You can mix them up in a song, whatever it feels like. It's like if you're listening to a song and you're like playing the drums, you know, you just, you just go along and you're patting on a table or a box or whatever. <laughs> it's the same way with the, with the harmonica. You do that to the rhythm just like you would if you was playing like you was with a drum. You do that with your tongue playing these songs. Chief whiz, like uh, little Liza Jane. See all the different different rhythms I'm using in that. It's not just the same thing over and over again. You don't want to be repetitive. You don't want to use uh, unless it's a song like that Hound Dog Run, or you, in that particular song, it was written to use a the gallop rhythm all the way through it, but you don't want to use the same rhythm constantly. You don't want your song to be boring. <laughs> you know, now on a waltz, of course, you're going to be using the same thing. But you can use those tongue slaps a lot starting out. You know, get that that uh, I think they call it staccato thing. Can you hear all the different rhythms in there?
can play Soldier's Joy all the way through and you listen, listen to these rhythms. Tell the dollar a little so. I don't know what else I can tell you. <laughs> you know, the, uh, the main thing on what I, I certainly want to make, uh, I want to iterate, reiterate it. Uh, do your own thing. Do your own style. Do your own, mix your rhythms up. You know, it's just playing around with it is how you do that. You know, it's like, gee, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to play, I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to play Soldier's Joy. You think, gee, that doesn't sound good. Play it again. Play it again. Practice. Change up. Change up your rhythms. Just uh, and at first you may you may get comfortable with that gall gallop rhythm, and at first you want to use that in a lot of songs because you're comfortable with it. And uh, and of course the the uh, waltz rhythm is, is probably the easiest, of course. And like I say, you can adjust that waltz rhythm. You make it faster. Uh, and apply it to the different songs. You can change up that gallop rhythm. You know, you use those tongue slaps, like putting those in there, putting it all, all mixed up and come up with your own style. Or someone hears it, they say, hey, that's Tony playing. I can, hear, I can tell that that's Tony. Sounds kind of like Sarge, but it's Tony. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to be playing. You don't want to be playing and say, "Hey, is that Sarge playing?" No, that's not Sarge. Is that Sarge? No. You want to say, "Hey, who's that?" Oh, that's Tony playing. I know. I recognize. You know, a lot of a lot of your good blues players can recognize different blues players. I can't, but some can. Okay, I don't. I, I guess that's about it. That that's that's all I can come up with. That. Uh, I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, please contact me. I uh, uh, I wish more people would, because I'd, I'd like to. I'd like for more people to learn this old style to carry it on and learn a lot of the old songs. I have a bunch of old songs recorded on YouTube. I have a bunch of them. All. I've have I have six studio recorded CDs on Bandcamp of old songs. Uh, so I'll, let me do one. Let me do one. It's called uh, uh, Durang's Hornpipe. It, it, it incorporates some different rhythms. Let me start over. I got off onto another song. <laughs> Starting this off, you heard fiddles go da 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 da. You do that with the harmonic on all of these old songs, like I'm doing with Durang's Hornpipe.
if you hear all those different rhythms in there, especially when it goes down to the low part, it gets kind of that shuffle. It's got that shuffle type thing. Liberty's another one that does. down there and does that shuffle and that's just a that's almost like that waltz rhythm only it's faster see like a waltz in fact you use that on a lot of, a lot of train stuff okay I don't know what else to tell you. I hope it helped you. If not, uh, maybe you can get a hold of me and I can clarify some stuff. Or you can tell me what you're having, specifically what you're having trouble with. Okay, thanks a lot. Arrivederci. <laughs>